Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cows channel. Well, we are going to play something that was on my radar, but I had so many games last month that I couldn't get to it. But now June's looking a little lean, and we can go back and we can play stuff that we didn't want, well, that we didn't have time for. Excuse me, I definitely want to play Ravenous Devils, which is a delightful little bakery simulation where we're going to turn people into cakes. Oh yeah. I don't actually know if it's a bakery. I think you're running a restaurant. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so, as always, if you don't know, I am the cow, and we play games here, and we do it for fun. If you like what you see, you can subscribe, ring the bell, do a little dance, whatever else YouTube has decided that they want to have done, uh, this month to make people like your channel. As well as, if you could please let me know in the comments how the sound is. I do sound checks prior to, uh, game recordings, but I am partially deaf, and so sometimes... It, I usually only do like one or two episodes at first and then give it time to start getting comments so people can tell me. So we are going to play this game, Ravenous Devils, and we're going to have fun because that is what the point of the channel is. Games are awesome, and you can use a little more awesome in your life. So, uh, I've already gone through settings, there's credits, you can follow these guys. Let's, uh, I checked them out on Steam. They don't, they have a couple other games, but this is, uh, just something that caught my oh well just pick a save file because I barely slept while we were on the train Ooh. my thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever just a tailor shop home. and a tavern my wife Helen <gasps> and I decided to move suddenly she hurriedly packed our luggage packed your luggage it was strictly necessary uh oh we're not we good people good by the way buying this place near the river which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This is inspired this by the whole play and movie much. Sweetney Todd, There's by the way. There's space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement, there's already a large, cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. You can kind of guess what the my meals husband, are. Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. Yeah, there you go. We decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties. As a result of the insanely high meat prices, due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. So basically, That's you're going to the help these guys run two businesses <laughs> while we doing terrible things. so damn hard to do things right and earn as much money as we can. So yeah, that's the game loop, basically, is kill people and turn them into food, and we are running out of meat fast. Oh, cool. So, like, here's... So this is the thing that I like, is I don't know if you can see it, but it's got that really cool ant hill ant farm uh version of you're seeing like the side of everything and you know here's your tailor here's your oh i accidentally double at least that means well you know she's just i accidentally clicked <laughs> yeah we're off to a good start <laughs> uh, uh, so we're running out of recipes and meats and i think we already have a body <laughs> oh great oh god i'm terrible at least this means that moving here was the right choice we'll get rich not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You could have just hired me for the voices. I, I'm so awesomely terrible at this. Also, I'm guessing this is England. That is the pound, if I'm not mistaken. We have 10 pounds and this kind of error is not terrible, actually. You know all too well how much we are risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. And here it's just going to show me the game loop. So, all right, let's grab this poor wretch. Sooner or later, I'm going to end up breaking my back. So we just 
Yeah, you tell them what to do by clicking on them. Now I need to throw the corpse through the trap door. Here it lets me know that he's got a corpse, and there's the trap door that they use. And you, I think you saw her clothes fly magically to the table. Finally, fresh meat. The trap door is working brilliantly. Oh, God. Oh, man, I don't want to pay. Okay, look. I understand that we're terrible people. And I understand that uh, we're turning people to be... That's no excuse for not following your health codes. Okay, look at this place. Have you heard of a mop? I'm just saying a little cleanliness is next to godliness. That's all I'm saying. It's time to stock up on some minced meat. The new meat grinder is ready for larger prey. Let's, so, yeah. At whatever floor you're on, we'll let the game will automatically uh, smart text what you want. You pick up a body... Click on this, and it tells her that I want to go over there. It's a nice little splatter of blood. Hopefully you guys can hear. Uh, I might have my volume higher than this. I should look, look at my grandma's recipe book. I'll also be able to add all my future recipes to it. So yeah, I can either make meat into that patty, or I can make a pie. I need flour and minced meat to make a delicious pie. I can already smell cooking. So, get the flour. Put it in the prep place. Get the other one. Put it in the prep place. Now that it's ready, take the tray. Push the oven button. Baking time. And there's a little ball that goes up. By making some changes, I could cook faster. Or well, we could fix these other two ovens, so we need more money for that. We'll work that out later. Oh, yeah. Now, take them out, because they're ready. So the display stand is empty, so I'll place the meat pies there. This way, the customers can serve themselves. So how do I... Oh. Let's fill it. Am I... Ready to eat. All right, we're all set up. I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean up the mess on that floor. Oh, I can use the scroll wheel to go up and down. That's good. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up. No one can come up here until there's no blood left on the floor. So pick up your mop. It's probably easier to just tell him to do that instantly after he, uh, you know, has a one-on-one -on -one business meeting with someone. I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin in the exposition isn't dressed. This? Oh yeah, so she has three of three slots and he has zero of one. I could patch up some stolen clothes and resell them at a steep price. Waste not, what not. This may be a humble shop, but I'm a professional. Uh, let's take us. So we go to the pile. And then we go to the sewing machine. Coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. And again, it's... I should adjust the timing of my work according to Hildred's needs. Clothes are finally ready. So we just pick them up. And we put them on. I like how there's a little thing that lets you know who's doing what down here in case you get lost. Everything seems to be set ready. Now we can welcome our customers. Open the shops. My dear customers, please come inside and take what you desire. It's lucky that I filled the display stand. Otherwise, they've been waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free, after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meal. So yeah, happy faces means that they're finding what they want and they're paying. Oh, it seems like someone is looking for a new outfit. You never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind to do the best job you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. Is that like her happiness bar or her health bar? Oh, I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. Oh, is that the client? Yeah, see, this would be bad if... Now we're alone. I can provide Hildred with some more meat. That's me. Do, do, do. Oh, that's... Oh, I'll take these clothes. Oh, my God. It's so brutal. 
Yeah, it's just teaching me the gameplay loop. How does he magically throw it there? That's amazing. And then here. And then mop and bucket, please. Yeah. Always remind myself to clean up. Yeah. He should do all that complete. I need clean the blood, kill three people, sell three clothes, cook some meals. Yeah, she'll come down here. Let's get her into the grinder. And then let's get back here. Pick that up. I can tell that she's working down there because she's doing something. And let's just pick up this. Put it on the tray. Pick up this. Put it on the tray. Pick it up, put it in the oven, and we're gonna make something yummy for you. Oh, another client already. Goodness gracious. I certainly am popular. And there's a guy waiting on food. And stabby stabby. <laughs> and that's done. And... Get it up there. Oh, does that count? Can I do this? Why? I guess I can do this before I get rid of the corpse. Now, making the corpse may. Uh... All right. Yeah, magically toss it there. There you go. Oh god! 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 I need to make more food already? Jeez, man. These people really are ravenous devils. Get that into the grinder. I've actually got quite a bit of... I can't really see her patience bar, but... I've got... I've already made 20... 15 pounds, man. I'm amazing. Okay, you need to just wait a minute. And I think they have, like, different needs and wants and such, so. No one's waiting down here, so I need to... Oh, well, she got impatient and left. Alright, you will take that. Put it here. Let's get some more pies baked. Gotta make the money for my honey. I'm such a good wife. Anybody interested? I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh god, it's a little harder than I thought to run this place. Yes, sir, sir, just a moment, please. I'm, I'm running a very successful business. Get that out of there. Tell her to go here. You grab here. I love the contextual stuff where it's like, here's the... I've already killed enough... Oh, no, I have not killed enough people. I, I don't know. I also have a magic sewing machine because it's working without me... Needing to... Yeah, there's somebody there. Oh, yes, my darling. Yes, yes, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> stabby, stabby. And we just need to sell one more meal, so let's concentrate on... I don't think we actually need to kill people anytime soon for a while. Oh, no. um... oh, well, starting over is never easy. There are a lot of improvements that need to be made. I wrote this list of things we need to do to improve our business. This way we will serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Oh, we have an upgrade tree! We can do minced meat. Oh, no, that's what we have. Males, skins. Oh, cool. Oh, dude, you can just buy skins if you want. Those are kind of cool. Report daily customers 15. 
good orders, mixed orders, bad orders. So yeah, you have to provide variety. Steaks. Ooh, unlock a table to make some steaks. Sausages. Oh my god, there's so much to do. In the greenhouse, the display. Tables in the pub. What can I do? Let's get some steak. Oh, nope. Let's not get some steak. What can we get? Unlock an additional workbench. Unlock an additional oven. Oven speed would be kind of nice. Let's get oven. There we go. Oh, and now I can wait until I'm finished. Before I open the shops. I see. So I can prepare for the day. Excellent. So let's have him start doing this. As fast as I can. Yeah, she. now I can tell by the bottom left that he's working on this. Let's put that in the oven. You know, I need to... Fabric. Let's go ahead and start that. That way we have something to immediately put on. That's much faster. That's yeah, kind of faster. It's not great. I do like the prep time. Like any successful business, you must prep before you can be ready to, uh, you know, serve your customers properly. Yeah, I like that time is frozen now. So let's go grab another one of these. Let's go ahead and just get the next tray prepped. I don't think it'll burn though, actually. So let's go ahead and put it in the oven. Then I'll tell her to grind that body so I have plenty of food. And, uh... Well, we also need those. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'll open the shops in just a second. Hang on. I got this. Oh, I got this. And, yeah. Always let you know. So, open the shops. I have opened the shop, so let's go, guys. And I'm just waiting for people to get here on the... Oh, finally. Yeah, seriously, dude. You know, I've, I've opened this place for you. Let's pick that up. There you go. Four pounds. That's what I need. It's really warm. Yeah, let's go ahead. and I'm almost out of clothes, unfortunately. Oh, and there's a herd of people hungry for delicious, delicious food. So let's go ahead and do that. Next round of pies. I'll try the meat cutlet thing you first now. All right. There's blood everywhere. Yes, I know there's blood everywhere. Come on. I just need to get him to the point where he picks up the mop and I think he'll have everything finished. Thank you. I don't know if you can... I tried clicking on the mop. Can I queue up orders for him? I can to an extent. So I just need meat grinder stuff. Nobody's in the shop yet. Oh, people are coming in here now. Let's go ahead and let's make a little variety just in case other people want that. Yes, eat my food. Grind you up nice and delicious. Oh, someone's buying that. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, I see. Oh, excuse me, my good man. I'll just uh, be with you in a moment. I'm just, you know. Let my magic sewing machine here get to work, and, uh... There we go. This needs to, uh... Woof! Guys, running a business in this modern Victorian age is hard. This is hard work! Now, let's see if he cleans it up by himself. 
Meanwhile, you come down here. Oh, there's a corpse. <laughs> and let's get you baking some pies. Oh, I forgot to click on the tray. Very important that we do that. Oh yeah, he cleans everything up nicely. And he's fully stocked. We are almost out of food already, though. Oh, I need you to grind that up while you're waiting for that, please. As fast as I can. Oh, sir, just a moment, please. I'll have... I got fresh pies coming from the oven. It's amazing that she's doing all the... Oh, no, he's coming here. Sir, just... If, you, if you'll be so kind to wait, please. I will have... There you go. And, uh, just need to, you know, do this, do this. I guess he's not very happy with that. That must not be what he wanted, but... Movie in there. There's blood everywhere. Yes, there is. Get her to... Get down there. Let's get you... Making last clients. So I guess I don't need to put out any stuff. Cleaning, cleaning. I'd better check today's earnings. I hope all our clients are satisfied with our work. This way, word will spread and our shop's reputation will improve. That alone is not enough, though. We should probably buy some new work tours. I'm sure even well-known people will visit our shops then. Yeah, so only one person didn't like... Daily profit, 27 pounds. How wonderfully delightful. So I already unlocked the oven speed. Do I need more ovens? Probably need the additional workbench, I think. Produces more meat. I'm fine on meat. Getting more cloth is because I'm low on cloth. Can I... I can't really afford... I do want the more display safe though. I've only got nine tenths. Alright, so you get here. You need to get over here. And start your magic sewing machine. Yeah, it's a little annoying, but you can always just prep stuff. I don't have other, another tray, though, so I do have to wait for this, unfortunately. Okay, everything is good here. Excellent. So let's put... We'll put out both of the two recipes that we have, and that way people can just take whatever they want. Yes, yeah, faster, my dear. Oh, the tray just magically teleports. Who knew? And then we'll make the little cutlets. I need to make sure that I accidentally click on the tray because that might be bad. There's another whole area up here, too, that I, I know it said things like a greenhouse, I think. I'm pretty good on food. I am not good on clothes. Oh, I almost pulled my mic down. Hopefully that did not just ruin you guys' audio experience. Oh, hang on a second. Hopefully that did not just ruin anybody's audio experience, because, you know, I'd like to not do that. And just tell her to come put them here. There, people will be able to pick whatever the hell they want. And as one gets low... I'll just load meat on, and then I can either make more cutlet thingies or more... Open the shops? What? What is going on? A letter just arrived. A letter? We moved here not long ago. Oh, no. no. One should know us. Who may have sent this? Did you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Let me read. Silence, wench. How dare you question me? God. Someone knows our secret. Oh, knows. What does it say? Nothing good. Just threats. Apparently the sender knows us really well. Hmm, we have an admirer. 
We can't leave again. We spent everything we had on this building. I don't like the situation either, but I don't think he means trouble. Rather, he could be a rich client. He talks about a reward. I wouldn't just trust that. We haven't much choice. So, what do we do? Now, nothing. We just play his game. He'll get back to us. If what's written in this letter is true, we would risk our lives by leaving. He seems to be a powerful man in the city. Well then, let's hope we'll get some money out of this. Never a dull day for us. I'll get back to work. Me too. Yeah, now we have mail M1. My esteemed wrote. Ooh, that was a achievement. I must admit that your arrival in this city has got me pretty excited, and please, I beg of you not to interrupt interpret these words as a threat, but merely as a great opportunity. I know what is going on at your shop. I do often wonder, how do you manage all of those corpses? In any case, I decide to contact you to ask for a favor. But before I do that, I would like to assure you, your secret is safe with me if you do what I am about to request. I have been eating human flesh for a long time. I am sure you will not find what I say as shocking as others might, though. You cannot even imagine how difficult it has been for me to get my fill. From now on, however, with you around, I trust things will be far easier for me. I will give you specific instructions for the prey that I would like to savor, after all. I will not settle for the average Londoner. Once the targets have been killed, you will prepare a delicious banquet for me. It will be perfect. When your job is done, a life-changing reward will await you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching your every move and know where you are at all times. Moreover, I suppose the local police force would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the unexplained disappearances in town. I will send you details of the first target soon. With kind regards, you have new friend Jay. Well, he's got to go. Jay's got to go, man. I mean, now let's just go ahead and... There's no tray. Where's my tray? Where the hell's my tray? Can I just put the... Can I put this down? Okay. There we go. While they are choosing food, I'm going to put this up. I don't think he can hold more than one. Just a minute, madam. I'll be with you in a second. I'll be happy to uh, kill you. Wow, they really like those meat cutlet thingies. Just be happy to get my magical sewing machine started here. And hi. How are you? Lovely to see you. Thanks for coming in. Da, da, da. I run a business and it's hard because the government won't get off my back. That's a fact. Uh, well, while I'm waiting for this stuff, I might as well just make more meat. Nothing going on here. Yeah, why is there no tray there? Do I need to... I need to... Where the hell is my tray? I don't have a tray. What happened? Well, hang on a second, because I just need to... Her tray just disappeared, and I don't like that. Is that a glitch? There's blood everywhere. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, dude. I have no trays. My tray just disappeared. I wonder if that's a... Well, I'm probably going to have low scores today, unfortunately, because I think the game accidentally glitched with the tray.
can you get up there and get a tray? Where's the tray? I don't understand where the tray went. I like this color. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill him because I'm pretty full. <sighs> Dad gave me I accidentally put it back. Hang on. Can I make you go away? I don't have room for more bodies. <sighs> I suppose you don't have to kill them. I don't have any mules. Yeah, I know. I don't know where your tray went. Honey? Honey, where did you put your tray? <laughs> Last clients. Well, here, I guess we'll see in episode two if that, uh, hopefully fixes itself. Game may have slightly glitched. Yeah, I don't... Well, they'll just have... My reputation's probably going to be very poor today, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about that without... Uh... Yes, I know, I know, I know. So sorry, we seem to have misplaced our tray. I don't... Possibly know where we are. Goodbye, come again when we have trays. Yeah, that's... Well, at least we're positive reputation. So, let's just uh, stop here, and I'll see you guys next time.